So, from what I heard, um, the next trailer for Spider-Man uh, No Way Home is actually going to come out um, before the end of this month. Uh, not uh, Monday, that that's coming up next week, but the week after. So, October 25th, supposedly, is the date. Supposedly. Um, you know, so... If this was true, then it is in accordance to, you know, the pattern that we usually see um, with how these trailers get released. Um, I said before um, in another stream or video that um, usually these trailers get released, you know, the first trailer is four months before the movie comes out, and then the second trailer is two months before the movie comes out. Uh, the first trailer for No Way Home came out, what, two months ago already, I think? Man, does time fly. And, um, you know, it's October right now, which is two months before December, which is when the movie's supposed to come out. So I definitely believe that this is going to happen. And, um, you know, like I said, um, if it does come out this month, then, then it fits the pattern of, um, you know, first trailer four months before, second trailer two months before. Um, now, this does raise an interesting question because... Um, Without a doubt, because um, they are definitely going to attach, attach this trailer um, to uh, The Eternals, which comes out like a week after the trailer does. Um, so they're definitely going to show this trailer um, in theaters with Eternals. Um, but now here's the interesting thing. Um, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness comes out in March of next year. So... November is four months away from March. So, what are they going to do? Um, are they still going to release the trailer for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness um, in November as well? Like, a week or two after The Eternals? You know, what movie are they going to attach it to? Are they just going to, you know, have it attached to Eternals as well alongside of Spider-Man, you know? Um, they might um, wait until after... Uh, Spider-Man is released before the trailer for Doctor Strange, but then what that would mean that we would only get one trailer for Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness. I mean, it would make sense for them to attach the, the Doctor Strange trailer to Spider-Man or even come out with a trailer after Spider-Man because there might be Spider-Man spoilers in Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness. So, I don't know. Uh, the, the timing for all of this seems very awkward, so... To me, it's up in the air whether we get one or two trailers uh, for Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Because, without a doubt, they are going to come out with a trailer for it um, two months before. Um, but if they do what I think they're going to do, which is release the trailer in December instead um, to attach it to Spider-Man or after Spider-Man, then that means they're coming out um, with the, the first trailer... Uh, three months before, which probably means that they're going to release the second trailer for Multiverse of Madness um, only one month before. So uh, that's definitely a possibility, um, but like I said, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. Uh, definitely for sure I do think that the trailer for Spider-Man No Way Home is coming out um, uh, this month. Uh, so yeah, at the very least we, we have that to look forward to. And I'm actually looking forward to see what, what they're going to show us in the trailer. And uh, in this regard, I'm actually a little bit worried because Sony does have a tendency to spoil everything uh, about their movies with their trailers, you know? Um, I do hope that, um, you know, because this is a, a collaborative effort between, you know, Marvel Studios and Sony and not just Sony themselves, um, that there's going to be some quality control on Marvel's side. And, you know, they're going to say, hey, you can't show this or you can't show that, you know. Like, there's going to be at least some degree of control with the spoilers. Like, they're not actually going to show everything. And we're going to know the entire plot of the movie um, before it comes out. Um, that's the hope, anyway. Like, like I said, you know, Sony, uh, Sony tends to do things badly. So uh, we can't really have high expectations for them. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much all that I uh, wanted to say about that.